hey you guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I detangle my hair with two simple ingredients which is my olive vera gel and my um, oil mixture which is only olive oil and avocado oil but you could use any oil you prefer I'm going to start off by taking a part of my hair and I first apply my olive vera gel and then I like squeeze that into my hair and after that I would detangle I would pre-detangle with my white tooth comb and after my white tooth comb could glide smoothly through that section of the hair I would apply my oil mixture and then I would go behind it with a fine tooth comb just to make sure that I got all my shedded hair I would just twist up that section and move on to the next one In the comment section, let me know what's your favorite detangling method because I like to try new things like all the time. I never stick with the same routine. I figure I'll kill two birds with one stone in this video and go ahead and share my popular opinions. My first one is I use a fine tooth comb. I feel like a fine tooth comb helps helps me get all of my um my shedded hair. I start off with a big tooth comb and I detangle it with that first. Make sure that's good and detangled. Yeah, once the the big tooth comb could glide through my hair pretty nice and evenly, I then take my oil. <sighs> Start from my ends. Yo, know, I've been neglecting my hair like crazy. Now my second one is, I like frizz in my majority of my hairstyles, I don't mind it. But any other hairstyle, like a twist out, braid out, I don't mind a little bit of frizz. As long as you can still see my um, curl, like the braid out or the definition of the braid out or the twist out, then I'm cool with that.
my other unpopular opinion is I don't like sectioning off my hair at all anymore. Like, I realize that it's like, it's kind of hard to explain and put, it, put into words, but I'm gonna try my best. Basically, when I was sectioning off my hair, I feel like my hair got used to being parted, like, in the same way so many times. That it's hard to pick them out like once I like do a twist out or braid out. Now what I was trying to say here is that it's hard to pick my hair to go like to fall back in place and to hide my parts. This unpopular opinion, I think more people are actually kind of doing it. I'm not too sure. I do protein treatments. I try to do protein treatments at least once a month. It is based off your hair porosity, so. I know before then, protein treatments was, like, for everybody, it was like a once a month thing. But I now moved up to, like, at least once a week or once every two weeks. You guys see how amazing olive vera gel works for your hair like i'm so happy i discovered this and started using it i believe every natural should incorporate olive vera gel in their hair regimen somewhere. Okay, so last section, last opinion. So my last opinion is that I don't really like using leave-in conditioners. Now, my reason for that is I haven't honestly found one. In my opinion, it's just an extra. I don't get the benefits of it. Like, I literally only found that one leave-in that ever did something to my hair. But everything else that I use, it just was like, meh. Right there, I was just rubbing the product in my hair so it could absorb it. And this is the finished result. I figure you guys will probably be interested in how much hair that I shed. Which isn't much because I didn't touch my hair in almost a week. Well, it was about a week. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel or coming to my channel, either or, and watching my video. Now all you gotta do is subscribe and hit the like button.